materials required fevicol wooden ruler black pen cutter scissors a big brush tape acrylic colors a big thermocol sheet and empty fevi stick or any type of tube glue a steel rod approximately 6 cm a bigger board a bigger board a glue stick for a glue gun a thermocol a wooden board for with dimensions uh, 18 by 12 inch a thin sheet you can see how thin is that a fluorescent sheet blue color a normal chart paper a container plastic container a whistle for storing water a uh, an electric motor for stuck sucking water and some materials for decoration a plug wire plug and a pipe the other the material required now cover it the wooden sheet with the chart paper you can see how with the help of tape we can do it Let's cover it. So it successfully. Now keep it aside and let's do another work. From the thermocol sheet of paper, cut out these pieces. One square piece, twenty-five centimeter. One rectangular piece, thirty-two by twenty-nine centimeter. Two. rectangular pieces both two rectangular pieces both of 47 by 7 one more rectangular piece 47 by 15 and more 36 Thirty-six centimeter by six centimeter. Two more rectangular pieces. Two. Now, one second. A square piece which will be cut into two halves. to get two triangles of length 18 and breadth 16 18 by 16 two pieces we want two this thermocol sheet of paper 25 by 25 with a silver foil You see how Cover. Help of heavy call. Attach the this thermocol sheet with another thermocol sheet with thirty two by twenty nine inch. 
Subspace is left on either side. With the help of glue gun, now attach these two pieces. You can see how I have attached. These are these square pieces which okay. I have said to cut. chart paper see our dam has started coming in shape and now let's see this is the water panel the water will come out to and store here by which a motor will go back again come out here the wire and the famous the tube which I have told in the material required is connected to a rod which rod is come out through this opening I have pierced a hole in this vessel and this will be kept beside through which the water will come out we are covering this container in which decoration we are covering this container with a blue version sheet which we have brought See, we are now covering 
this for decoration. Let's see. It's covered. Uh, this hole to this hole. Uh, motor is connected, and uh, see this tube. A basic tube we have taken. You can see um, a hole we have done, and to this hole we will attach the steel rod. Steel rod. See, we have to make this opening. See, a small hole should be there. To this tube, this steel rod will be attached. See. And this tube will come out through this opening. <laughs> One second. From inside, we will put the hole. In it. You can see now it is attached. Off tape. Seal it from inside. I will show you how. You can see just. It. You see these attachments. See with the help of glue gun, we are attaching the rod, these two thermocol pieces. This is now I become the road. See, this is almost prepared. Now, let's color, color it. Let's color it. See the this road. I have not attached. I will attach it after coloring. So, let's color. Finally, friends, it's done. See, you can decorate it like this, and I will show you. How it will work? Just wait a minute. You can use this, use these color combinations in your model too. So this was a journey from a single thermocol to a dam. Let's make it work. Now you can see that the water flows from the reservoir. The water is coming down. To the motor, it is pumped back to the reservoir and to in them again. This system continues. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
this going down? Now if we pluck it again, whatever we do. This is how it works. 